It's an exciting milestone for the University of Chicago Medicine, the 500th robotic cardiac surgery. It's a complex procedure that means less downtime for the patient and less pain. I'm not even 48 hours out of surgery and I feel remarkably, remarkably good. Um, I'm walking the halls easily and I'm actually going home in the next couple hours. Jennifer Scott is the patient for this innovative procedure and she couldn't have been more pleased to have this team working to make her better. She said she was worried about having her sternum cut and her chest opened. With this method, neither happened. And there is no other program in the country today that does all of this different um, variety of heart surgery, meaning valve repairs, single valve, double valve, uh, intracardiac uh, removal of tumors, repair of uh, septal defects and holes in the heart, if you will. All of that done with really, really small incisions, the largest being about 20 millimeters in, in size. Uh, and then another category, which is coronary bypass, completely uh, different uh, type of, of procedure. It entails working on the surface of the heart, bypassing blocked arteries. Um, we do single vessel, we do multi-vessel, uh, very complex cases. Uh, again, patients traveling from all over the country for that. Dr. Balky started his work on robotic cardiac surgery about 10 years after he began his career as a surgeon. He remembers thinking there must be a way to do some cardiac procedures that would be easier on the patients. That's when he started to explore robotic. The procedures that we do to patients to fix their hearts entail making a really, really large incision in the chest, cracking the sternum, and it became quite clear to many of us uh, in those days that uh, a less invasive approach is uh, feasible and uh, beneficial. Jennifer needed a complex repair of her mitral valve and had issues with an irregular heartbeat called atrial fibrillation. She was briefly put on a heart-lung machine and had her heart stopped while the team opened her left atrium and repaired her valve and corrected the abnormal rhythm. The complete procedure took a little over four hours and was a success. The surgeons um, that work with my usual cardiologist, three surgeons sat in on their monthly meeting and all three of them said it couldn't be done. It couldn't be fixed. And um, my doctor said, well, if anyone's gonna be able to do it, it's gonna be Dr. Balky. So it was, um, it was just such a blessing. Jennifer is very happy she came to the University of Chicago Medicine to have this done. She says the experience has been great. Everybody from the beginning to the end has been absolutely fabulous. And um, like I said, I'm just very blessed that they were able to do this because I, I can't even imagine what the recovery would have been.